So, good afternoon, dear LinkedIn community and Composites experts out there and, of course, our valued members of Composites Launch. If you aren't a member yet, please follow the link down below in the chat and you are cordially invited into our online free of charge membership on LinkedIn. Today, I'm together with Yannick, Yannick Willemin. He's the business development director, can I say that, of 9T Labs. And uh, we are changing now from a classical style of composite production to 3D additive manufacturing. And Yannick will show us, explain us in a few moments how 3D manufacturing functions in conjunction with composites, because that is a very special and niche production. I'm really glad that you are here, Yannick. <music> Thank you, Ilke, for the invitation. And let's start about speaking about 3D printing, additive manufacturing, and yes. how we approach it. First of all, uh, 3D printing. How did it uh, start and what type of fibers do you use in the 3D production? Sure. So basically, I myself see that composite manufacturing was always 3D mm -hmm. because we always actually adapt some layers mm -hmm. and then we stack them consolidate them, etc. So we just approach it with a more automated way. Right. We use thermoplastics in our case. Mm -hmm. So it's only thermoplastic matrices. Fibers are actually free. Mm -hmm. Most of the demand is composites. We also use glass, basalt. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we could use natural, but mm -hmm. it's not easy to use with high performance thermoplastics yeah. because they are too high in temperature. Mm -hmm. So you have a few parts here. Maybe let's run quickly through this before we move to your exciting new motor bicycle uh, application. Sure. No, so in general, in terms of parts, how we approach it, of course, we design the parts in a digital way. Mm -hmm. We plug it in simulation, we validate it in uh, commercial FEA systems, and then we send a code to a machine, to a 3D printer, mm -hmm. which is then laying down the material very efficiently, mm -hmm. automated, wasteless, so that you see here it's a preform, mm -hmm. so it's really layer by layer. We can decide where to put fibers very accurately and where not to put fibers because it would be not efficient from an engineering point of view and from a cost point of view. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we are very free. We do hybrid processing, so we can mix preforms with even organo sheets, so more known materials to really bring the best out of different worlds. We co consolidate everything and get very strong parts like this one and this is a good actually bridge to the motorbike as you were saying because this is part of a suspension rocker link mm -hmm. okay so the final one this is also from our organo sheet as uh, i think so right this so this is typically the part i'm showing here the final part is actually made out of these four layers oh, it's two, four layers. Okay. two printed preforms mm -hmm which are then stacked together and co-molded in one shot. And so we bring like that, which is still flat. There is metal inserts brought in, reshaping in three directions mm -hmm. in a mold, in a metal mold in this case, because we're going to see a part manufacturing. And it comes out 30 minutes later, like this. So we really steer the fiber in the third direction. And this goes on a race motorbike. Very strong, but very light. Yeah, Correct. Exactly. So we are here 40% lighter than the aluminium part, which is currently on the motorbike. Same mechanical strength. Obviously, we had to pass the same tests mm -hmm. and also being cost competitive here. What part do you have also on this table? What other parts? So beside many other projects, we also showed a watch, which we are working on with Oris, a Swiss manufacturing brand of luxury watches. It came out in Geneva. Here we're doing obviously only the casing because all other parts would be way too small. But on the casing, it was an interesting work to really steer the fiber in a round way around the watch and having a few thousand parts made. So 
it seems to me that composites is moving slowly into fashion and the lifestyle industry. Just before you, I had Enrico Raimondo who makes leather shoes mm. with uh, <laughs> composites, uh, a champagne bottle and a leather bag. Very nice, fantastic pieces. Yeah, let's come to your latest movie that you are showing. You have an animation on the booth that we will be showing you right now. Tell us about the speciality. What did you solve there? What was the problem? How did the customer approach you? Okay, so I mean, on the movie, we have different projects, of course. So as Ilkay was saying, we see a lot of composites, innovations in luxury leisure because it's fast paced. We can enter quickly and prove that we can add value. Of course, in the background, as you see in the movies, there is also aerospace, a big field for composites since a long time. But it takes longer to enter because it's certified. So we are all working on those applications, we too. But um, it will take some years before it really flies. So that's why it's nice to compensate those two markets. And all those markets are reflected in this movie you see on our booth. So it's all about, of course, cycling, motorbikes, sports car, premium cars to enter the automotive world. And of course, flying devices going from traditional aerospace. We see a lot of EV tools at uh, Jack. Mm -hmm. And I guess all these topics, we try to merge the innovation where it really makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's press the play button for you guys now and watch this movie. Yannick, for this movie, this was an excellent application that you showed to us. Ready for an espresso on your booth and why is the espresso so important at your booth? I guess last year we had the first chance to have a bigger booth. We thought about the setup and welcoming people is part of being there in physical. So we chose because one of our Italian founder he loves espresso, he loves coffee, good coffee. So we brought a special barista an expert barista and obviously beside our innovation we are also famous here at Jack for a good espresso. Ilka is a good customer for us on the espresso side. I love it. <laughs> and I hope that next year again we will meet each other here at Jack with good espresso and more innovation. Absolutely. Thank you Yannick for the insights. Thank Let's you. have a grab a espresso. <laughs> <laughs> 